Now, the SEC has just shockingly threatened Judge Annalisa Torres, which seems like something that would have never happened, but just did. And in today's video, we're going to jump right into it and show you the live broadcasting and the recording and the proof as to this happening. But before we do that, let's take a step back and really understand what caused this threat to come out of Gary Gensler's mouth. It all started back on December 22nd of 2020, where basically the SEC charged Ripple and two of their executives with conducting a $1.3 billion unregistered securities offering with the coin being XRP. Now, as part of this lawsuit, the SEC had claimed that Ripple raised $1.3 billion in a sale of digital assets known as XRP in an unregistered offering to investors in the US and worldwide. They also cited that Ripple also allegedly distributed billions of XRP in exchange for non-cash considerations such as labor, market making services, and so many others. The lawsuit lasted two and a half years with just recently on July 13th of 2023, Judge and Lisa Torres decided on the fact that XRP as a digital token is not in and of itself a contract transaction or scheme that embodies the high requirements of an investment contract, making XRP a non-security a matter of law. Basically, in short, the XRP cryptocurrency that had been deemed by the SEC as a security was now debunked and turned out to be not a security and rather a asset. Now, when the judge made this ruling back on July 13th of 2023, the SEC made it clear that they were not happy. In fact, the United States Securities and Exchange Commission not only highlighted their disappointment, but even the chairman's Gary Gensler, which is the chairman of the SEC, on Monday, or the Monday that passed afterwards, said that he was disappointed with the district's court decision in the Ripple case regarding retail investors, but pleased with the part of the order which found the institutional sales of the token a security. And there's a video I'm going to go ahead and actually roll for you guys that he, the chairman of the SEC, Gary Gensler, publicly stated that they were not happy with what Judge Annalise Torres actually made for her decision of XRP being deemed not a security and the fact that they still believe XRP is a security. So let's go and actually roll the clip. Okay. Uh, uh, how does the federal court ruling last week in the Ripple case impact your stance toward digital asset regulation? Does it inject urgency into the need for federal legislation to clarify regulatory in oversight of this industry? Um, Look, our, our mission is, remains exactly what I spoke about earlier, about investor protection, promoting capital formation, and the markets in the middle. Um, this is a recent decision, just a handful of days ago. Uh, we were uh, pleased uh, from that decision, recognizing uh, the, the importance of protecting investors on the institutional investors uh, in that, uh, and that the court uh, um, uh, movement with regard to um, fair notice, uh, and while disappointed on what they said about retail investors, uh, we're still uh, looking at it and, and assessing that opinion. Additionally, shortly after that meeting, Gary Gensler went on to another meeting on Bloomberg Television and made it clear that the SEC would consider a SEC appeal to the ruling of the judge, which had stated that XRP was not a security, and rather that the SEC still believed that XRP was a security. That being said, let's go and actually roll the clip right now and ranchers who thoughtfully wrote us. <laughs> so we've heard. Okay, I'd like to move to a different topic which has gotten a lot of attention lately, crypto. Specifically, a ruling that was made in the Ripple case that XRP is only a security when sold to institutional investors, not so with retail investors. I know you've previously said you were disappointed by that ruling. The SEC has also said that it intends to seek further review. So does that mean you are going to appeal it? Can you elaborate on your thoughts around that ruling? Kaylee, great question. But the commission, uh, I'm, I'm one of five commissioners. Mm -hmm. The commission has not uh, uh, acted on that. And uh, uh, if the staff makes a recommendation, we'll, ha we'll have a discussion of it and we'll take it up then but I don't ha really have anything more on you for you for that in in the meantime as we wait for this what does it mean for your efforts around crypto for your efforts to try to protect the consumer in these areas does it complicate it look this field of crypto investing uh, um, a lot of investors uh, should be aware it's not only a highly speculative asset class, it's also one that they currently should not assume that they're getting the protections of the securities laws, even though the securities laws apply to many of those tokens without prejudging anyone. 
but you as investors are not getting the full, fair, and truthful disclosure. And the platforms, the intermediaries, are doing things that we would never in a day allow or think the New York Stock Exchange or NASDAQ would do. The platforms often are commingling and trading against you and have market makers uh, uh, that are on the other side of your trades. And we don't allow that in the rest of our securities markets. And right. uh, the securities laws are there to protect you. And that's right now, there's a, this is a field rife with fraud, rife with hucksters. And there are good faith actors as well, but there are far too many that aren't. And, and of course, you've, you've brought cases uh, against crypto exchanges on this point, but do you need to change tactic? Does it change anything for those cases, again, this XRP ruling? Again, I'm not going to go into any one uh, ruling, but I think that the securities laws are clear, and if, you're, if the public is investing in your project because they're anticipating uh, profits based upon the efforts of that project or those entrepreneurs, mm. Congress painted with a broad brush. And uh, I would ask you this, it's like when you look at a token, you can find a website, you can find a CEO, you can find a Twitter or X feed, whatever it's called these days. And uh, uh, there are entrepreneurs behind many of these projects without, again, prejudging any one of them. And while maybe you may have thought that this was a simple gesture by Gary Gensler and he didn't mean anything of it, well, it was the complete opposite. Because only one day later, after going ahead and saying this, the SEC filed an appeal. Now, this wasn't an actual typical appeal because the SEC did something that absolutely shocked the entire crypto space, and rather than just appealing the lawsuit to another judge, they went to Judge Elisa Torres and filed a motion to ask for her to approve an appeal that is about to be made within regards to the motion that she granted that XRP is not a security. Here is the exact thing. Breaking news, the SEC government has filed a letter of intent to request an interlocutory appeal to Judge Torres' to July 13th summary judgment in the SEC governed vs. Ripple case. Not only that, but the SEC also made it clear that the ripple victory that they're now appealing cites concerns it could negatively impact other pending cases and throws all this pressure on Judge Annalisa Torres. It was quite clear. The SC was threatening Judge Torres and warning any further judges that if they were to make a poor decision like the one that Judge Torres did that was not in their favor, then they would go all out to put them in a bad position. And so this is the SEC. This is where they play their games, and the SEC rejects anybody to outbeat them in any lawsuit. It is quite crazy, and it's only a matter of days that we find out exactly what is going to happen moving forward. That being said, I hope you guys did enjoy this video, and I'd really appreciate if you guys could just tap the like button, subscribe to the channel with your post notifications on, because I'm hosting a juicy XRP giveaway once we host 20,000 subscribers. So share this video, like I said, tap the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Also follow me on all my social media platforms, like my Twitter where I'm always posting the news there first. Thank you so much and peace!